part of the reason that we came up here to the country was to get away from the city and the stress and to be with people we can trust. You know? Well, that's nice of you to say it's that. Today's, isn't it? Truck driver said it was hot off the press. But you know what? I, I feel that all your hospitality is is really putting a big dent in your own vacation. Well, a little bit of a dent. But look at the nice people we get to meet. Well, I mean, you want know something to eat? I'm starving. and covenant before God and these witnesses. And I do promise and covenant before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. Kid, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing, Bruce. Okay. I don't like cops. I'm not a cop. I don't like grown-ups either. So I noticed. I got a question. What are you doing down here? I'm waiting for somebody. Well, wait somewhere else, okay? This is my place. Me and my pal. Well, you're welcome to it. Well, fine then. Go ahead. Please. Just as soon as I finished my business. You got any problems with that? Call a cop. I don't need a cop to handle things for me. Hey, don't push your luck, kid. I got bigger problems than you right now. Hey, everybody down here's got problems, okay? Big deal. I need a phone. Oh, sorry, they haven't installed one yet. You want one, you gotta go up to the penthouse. There's one up on the dock. Well, I can't go up on the dock just yet. What are you hiding out? Hey, look, I don't want any trouble down here. Well, all the trouble's up there. Come with me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, look, these ain't much dirtier than what you already got on. You belong to this old wino who lived here before me. We'll save them for another time. Thanks. Hey, look, if you're broke, I can show you how to work the phone, okay? I got money. Oh, yeah? And I plan on keeping it. What are you calling me, a crook? I don't know what to call you. Hey, look, just because I live down here doesn't mean I'm no crook. Fine. Well, bye. Hey, hey, you know something? Ain't nobody gonna be crying if you never come back here again. Well, that makes two of us. What all happened on this day? Uh, first thing first, okay. Was I dreaming or did you ask me to marry you today? Yeah. I love you very much, now you just hang tight, okay? Because I'm gonna see you walking down those stairs again today, all right? I'll get back to you. Hey, gorgeous. Anything in that newspaper about our wedding? Well, no, I really didn't get a chance to look. Hey. I'm sorry, I know this has been rough on you. I mean, having these people here during our honeymoon. They're going to be gone soon, I promise. They might hear you. They went outside. I guess the kid got bored in here. I thought you saw them walk out the door and they just left. No, I guess my mind was on something else.
See if there's anything in there about Felicia and Colton. Actually, there is. There's a lot. I don't know where to begin. There's a beautiful article on the wedding. Okay. And there's a wonderful article about oh. Felicia. And, oh, there's such a gorgeous picture of the two of them together. We'll save it all. I want to see it if I ever get my eyesight back, that is. When you get your eyesight back. You're right, you're right. I don't have any doubts. I'm going to get my eyesight back. Probably sooner than you think, too. I was right. That was Mrs. Felicia Shore on the phone. Yes, and did they successfully escape the storm last night? No, it poured on them, but oh, they no. got there safe anyway. Uh, she just called me because the phone had been busy and she was afraid I'd be worried. It was very sweet of her. Mm -hmm. Besides, you know, I don't think that it would make much difference to a bride and a groom on their honeymoon whether it rained outside all night or not. <laughs> I hope not. I hope they had a fire in the fireplace and raindrops mm -hmm. on their window pane for music. You know, Felicia seemed a little melancholy, and I just hoped that she didn't think about anything last night except her new life with Colton. What could Felicia possibly have to be sad about, Tony? Oh, just that today is Frisco's birthday, and it's also the day that Frisco and Felicia got married. I had no idea. That's because I'm taking the cure that I hope she's taking. Remember the past? live for today are you gonna let me get sunburned out here or are you gonna get me a beer no i worked out okay i can get fat now my pleasure dr jones please thank you very much don't worry about felicia i'm sure that the fresh air and the sunshine will cheer her up <laughs> besides that cabin sounds very romantic oh it is romantic believe me how i do on their honeymoon. Well, I know it really wasn't our fault, but I can't help feeling guilty for causing them all this trouble. Hey, thanks, huh? Not much we could have done about it, huh? You know, uh, besides, this way they'll have a real nice honeymoon, and when they tell stories about it, well, our part will be good for a laugh. <laughs> I hope they didn't have to drive very far. You know, me too. I don't remember seeing any nice places on our drive out here. Well, we couldn't see anything through all that rain, remember? I think I better make some extra lunch, though. Just in case they didn't find anything enough to come back. If I was them, I'd drive all day if necessary. I'd stay in a rat trap of a motel if I had to. Who would want to share a honeymoon with two strangers and a child? That's you, punk. Sean. That's right. Frisco. <laughs> My eyes. I, th I thought you were dead. I have. We all thought you were dead. Yeah. So I've noticed. No, I'm. I, I've never been happier in my life. Maybe you ought to fix yourself that drink, huh? <laughs> I've, got, I've got so many questions to ask you, I don't even know where to begin. I Fix the drink. I think you'll need it. Well, I talked to the manager, and he said this is the best room in the place. He also assured me that this is the best motel within miles. Of course, what do you expect him to say, right? Right. I'm sorry this place is such a dump. Why, 
pressure not getting this wedding off to a very good start, are we? Look, I tell you what. I'm gonna open up one of those bottles of champagne that we bought. Maybe that'll help. We got one chilling right over here. Look at the pillows. Look at this. It's like a, a harem or something. Ooh, check out the food in the... <laughs> food and champagne, huh? Yeah, yeah, I drink. Yeah, what, what, what would you like to drink? I'd like you to tell me what's going on. <laughs> what do you mean, what's going on? You're the one that just came back from the dead. Don't play stupid with me. Decided not to read my note? What note? What are you talking about? How long have you been back? Hey, Sean. Shove your questions. Shut your mouth. And listen to my questions. It's like, how could you let Felicia marry this guy? You know what his name is? Sanctuary. They sent him to kill me, Sean. Or don't you care? Just take it easy here. Fiscal. And what is with Felicia? She couldn't wait for me? What do you mean she couldn't wait for you? We all thought you were dead. That's bull. The WSB guaranteed me they would tell her that I was alive. That I was coming back. What happened to you? <laughs> Sean Donnelly and Robert Scorpio. My two allies, right? The two men who introduced me to the WSB. Who trained me, cradled me, brought me along. You know, I would love to see how you two would handle living in a Bulgarian prison for two years. What Bulgarian prison? The one I just escaped from, with two hitmen on my tail. Make that one now. We'll get into that later. I think I'd better clear something up for you. Nobody pushed Colton and Felicia together. That just happened. And besides, Felicia almost lost her life twice trying to find you. Save it, Sean. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. Frisco, we all tried to find you. Me, Felicia, Robert. We checked, we double checked, we triple checked. And when you didn't have anything, you just wiped me off the face of the earth. No. Until I found your grave. I found Frisco Jones' grave. Half hidden some motley field in Canada. be the first time you knew about it didn't you no i did not know about it i did not know about it and i just learned something about the wsb never ever trust them never trust them no. you gave up you gave up sean you let me sit there and you let me rot in that sewer, aching for my wife every day. Well, you live the good life. And you play Cupid for this guy, Sanctuary. Just, just, just come. I looked up to you. And I trusted you. And worst of all, I thought you were my friend.